coming down. How's it going? Uh, good. The guys are working on getting the cab cut apart. We got the cab on, so Jeremy's doing transmission tunnel. So what's the deal with the vents on the side? Uh, they're trash. So while Aaron and the guys have been spending all my money on the truck, I've been fishing around trying to find somebody to buy it, and I think I might have hooked a really big one. Problem is, we might have to jump through a really big hoop to reel him in. Well, I got a customer that's uh, fixing to pull the trigger on this, which is going to dictate a uh, paint color. Usually they don't care. They, you know, whatever we build, you know, they buy. But this guy wants black. Of course he does. Great. It was already going to be tough enough to pull off a show quality paint job in such a small time frame. And that was when we were going to give the truck some color. Now the buyer wants it black. Only the toughest color to paint. Somebody shoot me. To be honest, it makes Coy's job and Keenan's job a little tougher. Yep, because black just turns into a big mirror. Everything's really got to be laser straight, especially getting the nose and the hood. The hood and the cabs can be a lot of work. Yeah, and there's no rush in that. Uh, uh, right a lot, now, lot more work for Coy. But they're painters. They don't do anything most of the time. Look, we usually don't let a guy dictate our build, but uh, I've sold to this particular guy before, which means he's the kind of customer I like. He's the kind of keeps coming back. So if he wants to pick the color this time around, I'm not going to argue with him, especially because I've got another monster investment that uh, I'm thinking about making, and I'm going to need every penny I can get. Is the money good on it? Real good. Well, if they're, if they're paying top dollar for it and they can pick the color, it's just maybe we're trying to find people with more imagination next 